All right, so our book this week is Shark Lady, and it is a true story of how Eugene Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. And it's written by Jess Keating. The book starts off with some pictures and labels of different types of sharks. It was Saturday and Eugene wanted to stay at the aquarium forever. She wanted to smell the damp, salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow of fish. She wanted to keep watching her favorite animals, the sharks. Eugene pretended she was walking on the bottom of the sea. What would it be like? to swim with the sharks, to breathe underwater with the gills of her own. More than anything, she wanted to find out. When summer came, Eugene's mother took her to swim at the beach in Atlantic City. S stuffy, stick sticking, gum into her ears to keep the water out, Eugene dove down, down, down. The salt stung her eyes, but she didn't want to miss a single fish. Constellations of sea stars speckled the pebbled sand. She imagined a silvery fin standing strong on her back, slicing through the ocean current. Dr. Phillips could never open her eyes without goggles. That would hurt. To other sharks were ugly and scary, but Eugene knew they were beautiful. As she glided through the cool water, she wished everyone could see sharks through her eyes. But the sharks were only in her mind for now. Eugene decided to learn everything she could about them. So she dove. Oh, now she's diving, but this time into books. Whale sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, lemon sharks. Eugene wanted to know all about them. She also joined the Queen's Country Aquarium Society as its youngest member. Eugene's notebooks were filled with sharks. They swam in her daydreams and on the margins of her papers. I've seen some of your Genius Hour projects and passion projects about animals and things that you guys are passionate about. As she grew older, many were still telling Eugene what to do. Forget those sharks, be a secretary, be a housewife. Eugene wanted to study zoology, but some of her professors thought women weren't smart enough to be scientists or brave enough to explore the oceans. And they said sharks were mindless monsters. Eugene knew better. Her dream was as big as a whale shark. So again, Eugene dove. She plunged into every course she could. Her laboratory became her home. From sunrise to sunset, she studied how fish grew and how they behaved and how they were put together both inside and out. Despite all of the people who didn't believe in her, Eugene was becoming one of the smartest students in her field. Even after she earned her degree, many still doubted her. But Eugene's work was just beginning. Eager to make discoveries of her own, Eugene finally dove into the open ocean. In the Red Sea, 
Eugene collected hundreds of fish, including three new species that had not been discovered before. The Red Sea Sand Diver, the Barred Xena Pipefish, not sure if I'm saying that right, and the Volcano Triple Fin. On a research mission exploring the Palo Islands, Eugene was diving alone when she encountered her first ever wild shark. She wasn't afraid. Instead, she thought it was beautiful. In Isle... Majors, she dispelled the myths that sharks must keep moving to stay alive when she swam through dark caves, still and silent, full of resting sharks. Dr. Phillips has heard that myth that sharks have to keep moving. Eugene's daring heart grew bolder with each dive. Soon they began to call her Shark Lady. Eugene had proven she was smart enough to be a scientist and brave enough to explore the oceans. As her courage grew, she began to love and understand her beloved sharks more and more. But she never forgot many still believe that sharks were mindless killers. Because of their scary reputations, humans were hunting sharks all over the world. Eugene knew that sharks weren't stupid or mean. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Eugene fished through her mind and devised a brilliant experiment. Could she train a shark the way a person trains a dog? Were sharks much smarter than anyone knew? They were. Eugene was the first scientist in the world to train sharks and even learned they could remember their training for at least two months after. Sharks were not mindless killers. Sharks were beautiful. Sharks were smart. They deserved to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugene's dream was now a dream come true. And at the end here, it has additional facts about sharks called shark bites. It's a fun heading. And because if you remember in the front of this book, we said that it was a true story of biography. Here is Eugene Clark's timeline for when she was born in 1922 until when she passes away in 2015. So important event in her life. And then some information from the author. So a great book about this amazing woman in science. So listen to the announcements on Monday to see if your class is one of the lucky winners of this week's book, Shark Lady. Oh, there's Dr. Phillips' dog. Buddy.